Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we're going to talk about how good this Regalia Gold credit card is, guys. So I have a lot of things to explain in this video. I suggest you to watch this video till the end if you want to buy or if you want to purchase or if you want to ask your bank to provide you HDFC Regalia card gold card and if you want to opt for this so there is a lot of things to keep in mind there's a lot of things to know and there's a lot of benefits from this card which i'll be showing in my system right now so um, first let me ex let me explain you this is one of the best credit cards i've ever used in terms of facilities in terms of in terms of miles in terms of purchasing air tickets through the points and in terms of points number of points that you get is pretty much insane and i've also been using this in indian airport lounges which is widely accepted almost in every lounge i'd been to four or five cities in the last six to eight months and it is it is widely accepted uh, even though i'm using this card for the last three months i've been to around three to four cities but even prior to that uh, that clearly put a board outside the lounges saying okay oh, only hdfc regalia gold is accepted so uh, if you can if you can just you know uh, see my screen uh, you have around i have around uh, 73000 points out of which uh, 73,681 points are redeemable. And if you, what I'm trying to show is if you go and click on rewards and if you do a points to cash and here you can see uh, like I have 73,000 points which I'm going to do, which I'm just going to paste it here. So that is uh, around 14,700 rupees if I want to redeem these points into cash. But similarly, if you want to redeem this, uh, let's say uh, into, into miles or if you want to transfer this into miles, you can see what if air asia is the most common airlines where we travel to most of the southeast asian countries so you can see one point is equal to 0.5 air asia points so that is very very good and also you can see uh, a lot of benefits like milestone benefits travel benefits exclusive gold catalog and you can also know your card but the best thing i'm trying to uh, go with this is if you book a flight it is almost 0.5 paise per uh, per point that has been considered into flight booking so uh, right, what i'm trying to say is if i go back to rewards and points to cash and you can see here um, so out of 73 73000 points i'll be, i'm getting 14736 rupees only if i convert to cash but if i use these points to book a flight i can use almost 36000 rupees because it's redeemable at 0.5 paise but whereas this cash redemption is only at 0.2 paise which is uh, which is very strict and which is not good in my opinion so i uh, highly suggest you guys you know when you have this card directly book your flights with this it is very very good very very reasonable and it really works out very well i was just trying to search between bangalore to paris because i stay in bangalore between the dates of 13 june to 23rd june uh, recently i had been to uh, domestic domestic section of um, Bengaluru airport lounge that is 080 lounge and there only in HDFC only regalia gold was accepted guys only this regalia gold was accepted in the lounge in, in HDFC even HDFC Infinia was not accepted and even normal regalia card was not accepted only regalia gold was accepted um, that was a very good thing and even in international section when I went to uh, when I went to Taiwan um, in December only regalia gold for HDFC were accepted there were a few cards accepted in ICIC and SBI that's it and access no cards were accepted from access bank literally no cards guys so if you ask me this is this is a very good card you also have a lot of vouchers ton of vouchers like you get uh, you get 1500 mintra vouchers when you when you as a joining bonus kind of a joining initiative through this hdfc regalia gold credit card and also i got uh, 500 rupees swiggy coupon as well as a part of joining as a part of joining initiative bonus through hdfc regalia credit card and also uh, you get around 5x points when you book through mintra and uh, uh, other things uh, other catalog items which i'll try to link it in the description below and also another advantage is uh, through hdfc regalia gold credit card you get vistara prime membership so you get a vistara membership i just applied for it a couple of days back and it was i just received the mail just now today morning saying your hdfc um, vistara club membership is approved and they have given me the login credentials to log in and uh, also you have mmt black uh, membership where if you take mmt black membership you get a very high reward points when you book and eventually you as you saw on my screen i have about 73000 reward points which will get multiplied very easily if i'm trying to book anything with regards to hfc portal like smart buy 
or MMT uh, black membership that you get or Club Vistara membership that you get. It's very, very smooth, guys. So in my opinion, um, this, this credit card offers you a lot, especially in airport lounges. It's got uh, 12 domestic lounges and six international airport lounges. So 12 domestic lounges can be used in 12 days. There is no problem at all. And there is no restriction like you have to use only three per quarter or four per quarter or five per quarter. There's nothing like that. Uh, you can use it on the same day as well but it should be different lounge if you try to swipe this uh, card two times in the same lounge you will have to pay for one because they are going to identify that you have used this for someone else so don't do that mistake and also six international lounges you get a priority pass with this you cannot access it with this card you have to access it with a priority pass so a priority pass will be sent to you after like three transaction of this credit card uh, even though it might be one rupee or ten rupees transactions uh, priority pass will be sent to you post purchase of this card and you can use that priority pass widely across almost 150 plus countries. I have used it in Dubai, uh, Thailand, Taiwan recently and I've used it in Sri Lanka, Nepal, in most of the countries guys. So uh, it's, it's a very good card. It's a very, very good, decent card. I'm only talking in terms of travel. There are also other benefits like you just saw in my screen like Mintra and other things, but I am only focusing about travel. And like I said, in 080 lounge, only this was widely accepted. And the next important question that you guys ask me in most of most of my videos is, uh, what, what if I can borrow my friend's card or my father's card or my cousin's card or my sister's card or my wife's card, what's gonna happen in that time? So as I went to the lounge, I'll try to put it up in the description as well boarding pass has to match with your credit card name guys okay there might be one or two spelling mistakes or initials might be different that is completely okay but your name has to match with the boarding pass otherwise you will not be given free lounge access so please remember this a uh, lot of people keep asking me this question um, uh, time and time again can i use others credit card it depends on the lounge but the lounges i have gone to at least within india are expecting boarding pass and the credit card should be of the same name. So my name is uh, Nagarjun, you can see. This is my card itself. This is my card. I don't want to show my second name because it is confidential in terms of in terms of privacy and other issues is not more than that. So uh, this card, I mean, offers you a lot and uh, it has a very, very good cashback rewards. Like if you spend around 1.5 lakhs or if you spend 3 lakhs in certain months where you get mail from HDFC, you get 1500 Amazon vouchers. I've got it multiple times. Amazon, Flipkart and Mintra, you can choose in the catalog. But for November, I booked my flight tickets and hotels through this credit card. The spend was almost over 1.5 lakh. So uh, they gave me 1500 rupees coupons, which I redeemed it for Mintra because I purchased a lot from Mintra. So that way, this card is very beneficial uh, in terms of facilities, in terms of what uh, even, even the loan is instant if you have this credit card. And this credit card is a premium credit card, guys. Let's face it. There is a lot of criteria to get this credit card. Your salary has to be so much if you're a business uh, if you if you are if you are into business your it returns has to be uh, so so much there's a lot of criteria to get this credit card so let's face it but if once you get this credit card it's it's very good it's very nice and uh, i suggest you if you have any confusion of, of going for this credit card just blindly go for it and even on zomato sometimes um, if you add this credit card you get discounts on certain hotels and even through order and even through dine in so uh, this is a full pack credit card i would say and I am reviewing this after like four, four to five months of usage. And uh, I, I just certify, just go for this credit card if you have any questions. And a lot of credit cards are spent criteria like for paying annual fees. But for this credit card, I think the spend criteria is up to 1.5 lakhs or 3 lakhs. I'm really not sure. I'll try to link it. I mentioned this in my free previous video, but I don't remember the number exactly. It's around 1.5 to 3 lakhs, which is easily achievable if you ask me in an annual year. And if you do that, your annual fees will be waived off, guys. So that's very big bonus. If you see Acne, Access Magnus credit cards and stuff, the, the uh, spend criteria is over 5 lakhs. But this is just around 1.5 or 2 lakhs. I don't know clearly. I'll link it in the description below. So that is very, very convenient if you ask me. And mostly if you talk about air Airport lounges is widely accepted in all airports, especially 080 lounge in Bengaluru, domestic T2, T1 and domestic and international. So I have used this personally in my last few trips when I had been to uh, Chiang Mai and Malaysia. I went through Bengaluru T2 to directly to Chiang Mai. So there also I was able to use this Regalia Gold. A lot of people were standing in the line. They were disappointed because they don't didn't have uh, Regalia Gold or equivalent of this in terms of SBA or ICICI. Access was strictly not allowed. So 
um, in my opinion, if you ask me, just go for this credit card. I think I've made this video a bit too lengthy. So I hope this information is very, very helpful. If you have any questions or if you have any doubts on this HDFC Regalia Gold Credit Card, do ping me on, on, on my Instagram for immediate response or comment in the comment section. I'll try to respond to you guys as soon as possible. I'll catch you guys in my next video.